After falling short two years ago, Democrat Dana Balter thinks Republican Congressman John Katko's endorsement of President Trump will put her over the top in their rematch for the 24th District Congressional seat. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan is on the trail with Dana Balter, whose campaign style is very different during this pandemic. Instead of knocking on doors and talking to voters, we are doing a contactless literature drop. That's a really nice mailbox. Aviva, can you figure out some way to make the glasses not fog? So I don't do things like that. I can see where I'm going. Like anyone who wears glasses with a mask has learned. Okay, I really can't. Uh, here we go. The pandemic means Dana Balter sometimes campaigns through foggy lenses. Very foggy glasses. It represents what she hopes voters already know about her that she's lived through the same problems as them, including this sudden life shift from the out of control coronavirus. Now it's not just the typical conversation we're having about economic policy and taxes, it's about survival. She's done a lot of campaigning on Zoom, including with big names, Hillary Clinton yesterday, Andrew Yang tonight. She still goes door to door, like when we join her in Syracuse's Westcott neighborhood, but she drops off a flyer with very little human contact. Oh. Uh -huh. You got it. If she's lucky, she and her team of volunteers, young and young at heart, will bump into the voters coming and going. Hi there. Thank you for knowing where our neighborhood is. <laughs> She's on one side of her flyer. Biden is on the other. She says their plans have a lot in common, like putting working families first, cutting taxes for people who make less than $400,000 a year, but raising them for the wealthy. And a signature policy for her? Making sure everyone has affordable health care when they need a doctor or prescription which her opponents sometimes characterize as extreme. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much. For people that still haven't gotten it yet, what else do you pitch them to say, I'm going to be more moderate like a President Biden? Well, I think part of the reason why there are people who still need to be convinced is because we use this language of moderate and far left and far right. And that language just isn't helpful because it doesn't tell you anything about what somebody actually believes in or what they value. And that's why when I'm asked questions like this, I talk about the specific issues. Strategies she feel put her on the right side of history. She just has to convince the voters of that. On the trail, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.